I would like to read diary number 53. Dear diary, school's almost over. I just found out that we get to have Miss Grunwell next year. It's great news for all of us. She fought hard to keep us together. I've been lucky to have her for two years. My mom says I've hit the lottery in education. She's the best teacher I've ever had. She truly cares about us, never judges us based on appearances. Now I get to be in her class my junior year. I have a lot of friends who are in honor English and they've become quite interested in what my class has been doing lately. There have been questions about our field trips, the dinners we attend. After all the years, my friends who had made me feel stupid all are now interested in my class. After all, they used to call Miss Grunwell's class the ghetto class because of all the minorities. They've always made me feel like a dumb white boy because I'm not in their honors class. Well, it looks like they're the losers because they don't know how great this class really is and how many friends I've made because of it. We've had many guest speakers and traveled to museums and social functions. I view things much differently than my friends do because of my new experiences. But hey, they're still my friends. I told my friends that there were going to be room for a couple more students in Miss Grunwell's class. I found out they all had signed a waiting list to get into her class the very next day. If my friends are accepted, I hope they will treat Ms. Grunwell with the other students with respect. If not, I'll have to regulate because as far as I'm concerned, they're the ones on probation in my ghetto class. Mm -hmm.